amazing, decent, hilarious, just obscene. And then there's this, Duck Dynasty. It is Duck Dynasty, a game based off Duck Dynasty for the PS4, Xbox One, 360, PC, PS3, and 3DS. Yes, it is Duck Dynasty, a game based off this show. Um, and how is it, you might ask? Well, how do you think? Um, it's bad. Really, 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 really bad. The whole premise is that you are John Luke off the show, and you're trying to hunt, race, and prank to become a Robertson. So you're trying to be accepted by your own family, even though you're already accepted in the TV show. And it's abysmal. I'm not going to lie. It is abysmal. And I'm going to really get into this game. And yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. It's basically this game, except on a family-friendlier level. So, here is my review of Duck Dynasty. All of the games I just mentioned are licensed games, or games based off an existing property. Then we have Duck Dynasty. You heard that right, Duck Dynasty. The show about backwoods people that make duck calls for a living. So they made a game out of it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a cash grab, plain and simple, and a terrible one at that. So how is it exactly? Well, how do you think? Let's find out anyway. Got it. You got it. Duck Dynasty you. comes from the popular A&E really show of the same name. Hey, right off the bat, the game presents horrendously yeah. ugly visuals, especially for being available on new generation no, consoles. The, the so game seriously is the best PS2 ball. game designed for the PS4 hey, console. The if you thought right. Assassin's Creed Unity's facial There's visuals so were an insult, wait until you see this game. I'm talking about having it. The gift. Apart from the visuals, the game also lacks any meaningful dialogue and completely relies on cheap, unfunny jokes. The opening cutscene alone drags on for a total of six or seven minutes before really taking off, if you can call it doing that. It sounds a lot like this. It's like poetry for the ears, isn't it? Oh, come on. Hey! I'm just trying to teach our new intern, John Luke over there, a thing or two about duck calling. Gentlemen. Hello, Willie. Party pooper alert. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, it's funny. What's going on in here? Let me guess. Working hard to complete that order for the big boss. Nah. Shocker. Actually, I was just showing the ropes to young John Luke over here since he wants to work with us someday. Hey, I'm all about that. But you know, it doesn't take just a strong work ethic. In order to succeed here, you have to be a well-rounded Robertson inside and out. In between missions, there are various clips from the show which really have no purpose and are there just to eat up time. Which is what a lot of this game is. Filler, with no real payoff. I'm not expecting Red Dead Redemption here, but any kind of coherent story would be nice. Blow it. Now that's the way to take a beaver down, my boy. <laughs> the story, or lack thereof, follows John Luke Robertson as he is suddenly a mute, apart from being an active part of the show, as he tries to earn his way into being part of the Robertson family, despite already being part of the Robertson family, as he is a member of the Robertson family. Get it? No. They just ripped off Stealth Park to stick to truth, trying to gain acceptance by going on missions and proving your worth. A licensed game ripping off a better licensed game. Classic. The gameplay is as you'd expect. You hunt various animals including ducks, beavers, and squirrels. Yep, you heard that right. Squirrels for no real reason. I'm all for hunting rides, but this, this is just cruel. There's a mission where you hunt 30 plus beavers for no reason other than they're building a dam. Let's blow it up. Instead of hunting for sport or survival, it's just, hey, we finished the day's work. Let's kill some animals. Who needs 30 plus dead ducks at once? 
I hope you like quick time events because you'll be doing them a lot, whereas games such as Heavy Rain or Beyond Two Souls utilize these types of overused game mechanics effectively. Here they're just monotonous and serve no purpose whatsoever. Fishing is also a part of the gameplay, which can be frustrating as it is way too easy for your mind to snap, causing me to rage quit on more than one occasion. Putting a time limit seriously adds to the frustration as well. I thought the point of fishing was to be relaxing and taking your time. I guess these backwoods people have it backwards. Let's not forget Metal Gear Psy or the game's sorry attempt at stealth mission. You seriously have to hide in a cardboard box and sneak past Willy with Uncle Psy in order to play a so-called prank on him, or as I call it, stealing Willy's iPad. That's all it is. It's not hard, it's just a cheap knockoff of better games. Duck Dynasty is presented in a semi-open world. I say semi because you're free to explore the backwoods of Louisiana as long as it's minimal. You're given the option to explore and find such collectibles such as frogs, road signs which are funny and offensive at the same time, and Uncle Size hidden treasures buried randomly underground with no clue where to locate. After unlocking so many collectibles, you can obtain rewards which include various skins for your boats and trucks. The problem? You have no choice what you apply. It does it automatically and does not let you remove anything. So much for customization. Duck Dynasty is just another example of licensed games that have no real reason to exist other than a cash grab and have no real thought or effort put into them. As I said, there are much better licensed titles to put your time and money into, such as the Batman Arkham series, South Park, The Stick of Truth, or hey, even Deadpool, which isn't the greatest game ever made, but it's leaps and bounds ahead of this mess.